According to many healthcare professionals, most health disorders are caused by a toxic intestine. Why? Simply because the tradition of eating and drinking foods rich in preservatives, white flour, sugar, fats, tobacco, alcohol, and even the air we breathe cause an accumulation of fecal material in the intestinal walls. The colon is a very effective sewer system, but because of negligence and abuse, it turns into a dumpster. When it's clean and normal, we are happy. Let it clog and it will distill poisons, fermentation, and putrefaction, poisoning the brain, the nervous system, the heart, the lungs, the blood, the digestive tract, and ultimately, the whole body. Imagine what would happen if you didn't brush your teeth for five months. What would happen to your mouth? Imagine if you didn't shower for five months, 10, or even 20 years. What would happen to your body? That's what is happening to your body on the inside, in your intestinal system. Did you know that eight in 10 people carry parasites, worms? If you don't believe it, read the book written by Dr. N. Louise Gittleman. Guess what came to dinner? In addition to parasites, most people carry between three to 25 pounds of fecal material, excrement, and garbage in the colon. Did you know that a piece of meat rots faster in the colon than if you left it out of the refrigerator? We live in the chemical era. In this country, we eat more than 2,000 chemicals that are added to our food, like preservatives, pesticides, fertilizer, artificial coloring, and many other potentially harmful chemicals. Did you know that approximately 40% of the antibiotics used in this country are used by the livestock industry? And when you eat a piece of meat, you may be taking in antibiotics that may damage your immune system. In other words, the body's defenses. And the chicken that you buy at your supermarket may contain hormones that may cause imbalances in your body's own hormones. It is becoming very clear that death begins in the colon. And if you don't cleanse your intestinal system, you are slowly committing suicide. The accumulation of fecal material may create a state of putrefaction that may result in many illnesses such as diabetes, inflammation of the liver, constipation, fatigue, overweight, wrinkles, premature aging, infections, high blood pressure, physical defects, high cholesterol, weak lungs, bad odors, rings under the eyes, headaches, migraines, cancer, and skin problems such as psoriasis, acne, and many more. Last year, more than 150,000 people died of colon cancer in this country. Dr. John Christopher, international scientist and author of several books on nutrition, affirms that most illnesses are the result of toxins and deficiencies in the bodies. How many times we've heard correctly that we are what we eat, in reality, we're not only what we eat, but what we digest and eliminate. Remember, not all that goes in comes out. We need to remember that everything we eat must be digested and eliminated within 24 to 32 hours. According to the renowned Dr. Bernard Jensen, for every meal that we eat, we must eliminate that meal. If you have three meals a day and you only go to the bathroom once, two meals are still in your intestinal tract. Multiply this by months and years and you can imagine how many toxins and the garbage that is still in your colon. In a study that published in July of 1991, Dr. Mikosi, Associate Director of the Institute of Pathology in Washington, declared that chronic constipation causes an increased risk in breast cancer in women. Remember that the body will not heal itself unless it's clean on the inside. Feeding a dirty body with medications and food is like eating from a dirty plate. Dr. Becky Arians, a notorious colon specialist said, in my opinion, there is only one sickness and that sickness is self intoxication, the body poisoning itself. It's the garbage in our system that kills us. I am convinced that unless you cleanse your colon, you will never enjoy good health. We are like a car. You wouldn't buy a new car and never change the oil. Then why don't you change the oil in your body? We often take better care of our cars than our bodies. Remember, no matter how many times we wash our car on the outside, if we don't change the oil in the engine, it will be damaged. 
That's the way it is with our body. We take a shower every day. We get cleaned on the outside. But it never occurs to most of us to clean it on the inside. If we want good health, this must change.